The upgrading system in Remnant 2, sure, it looks kinda simple, but if you're not careful, it might just leave you scratching your head asking yourself, what the hell happened? Hey guys, this is Albethium, and I'm gonna be showing you how the system works, because this is something that you should be paying attention to from the very beginning of the game. It is that serious, otherwise you might actually get locked out of some upgrades. With that being said, well, let's get in on this. The upgrade system in Remnant 2 is very peculiar, but a very, very fair one, because the game doesn't allow you to get stronger than you need to be. And what I mean by this is, every chance you get, you should go back to War 13 and upgrade some of your equipment, because every new dungeon that you go into, the game reads your loadout and your highest rated upgraded weapon, and then adjusts the drop rate accordingly. You are not gonna get the higher end materials until you need them. So, if you haven't been upgrading your weapons, you actually could be locking yourself out of end game upgrades. Because if you're making progress and you're going into every new dungeon, you are gonna be running out of dungeons. Luckily, there is a fix for that. Also, you just reroll the adventure mode, and well, there you can, I guess, mend your mistake. And uh, you just have to keep grinding for these things. You're gonna notice the drop. You can also go to Cass, she's gonna be selling. And if you wanna upgrade something else, you are not gonna be having a problem. Once you do reach that level of upgrade materials, they are gonna be available. And there you have it guys, that is the guide that I really hope is going to help you a lot and I also hope that maybe it is going to convince you to click that like or maybe even subscribe button and uh, well, I would be very much grateful, there's gonna be more really helpful guides and I do not waste your time, always, always remember that. Guys, thank you for everything, bye bye and see you in the next one.